In this video, I'm going to show you how to use email marketing within Go High Level. This video specifically, I'm going to help you to set up your template and also to create a campaign and send out an email. And most importantly, to hook your email up so it actually can send and your email deliverability is not rotten eggs. My name is Joy Nicholson and welcome to my channel. My channel is about helping you not to just grow and scale your business, but also your mindset and your habits. So please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification for more videos like this in future. So let's dive into this. I'm going to share my screen with you. And this is a tutorial video. So you can really just pause and do, pause and do. And this would really help you as well. So let's dive into this. So when you log into your Go High Level account, you will see on the left-hand side, you've got all these different buttons, right? So obviously you need to be within an account, not in your agency view. And then on the left-hand side, there is a button that says marketing. Under marketing, you have social planner, emails, templates, and links. Specifically, we're going to focus on emails and we're going to set up a template. Please note that I would recommend that you create a template first before you do any campaigns. And the reason I say that is because you can have that template perfect because at the end of the day, that template is going to be the thing that you send out every time. So you want to make sure that your social links are on there, the unsubscribe link is in there, everything that you would need is in there for this template. And then all you do is you just take this one template and you just keep copying it for other emails because your basis is basically set up, right? Okay, so let's dive into this. So I'm going to go from the right hand side. If you say new, you go to new. And make sure that you are under templates. It has to say here on the top, email templates. Okay. You go to new and then it's going to ask you a few different options. You can create an existing campaign. You can create one from a gallery. You can do a blank or you can also do an email. So uh, import email. So what I'm going to do for the purpose of this example is I'm going to use one that is specifically from a gallery. So you can choose any of the options here. There's an update one, there's a simple, there's a promotions, a membership welcome email. There's different options that you can use. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to just use the simple one to keep this example simple. So let's dive into that. Once you've opened your template, you will see that there's lots of different things that you can do on the left-hand side here. You can do text, image, button, divider, social media, footer, code, shopping cart, etc. Now, I'm not going to go in depth here. I'm going to keep this simple because this is really for when you have no idea how to set up a template within Go High Level. So on the, on the top there, you can have your logo pulled in. So if you click on that, you replace that. You can just go, it literally goes to the, to the folder. And let's just, I'm just going to say person. And let's just say unsplash. And you can just pick a person. And then that could be like your logo, or if you have a logo, obviously, to put that in there. You don't need to have a picture in there. Also, it's recommended for your sender deliverability to not have too many email, like pictures and things like that. One picture is okay, but don't do more than that, okay? And also make sure that your images are compressed. And this is all just about deliverability and in making sure that your emails don't end up in a promotions folder if they just use an ad Gmail account or if in, if in spam. So those are just all little marketing hacks that you can use or email marketing hacks. So over here on the left-hand side, if you click on your fantastic headline, for example, there you can just add in your text and you can change your headline. So if you highlight this, you can change the font, um, but like as in the color, you can make it bold, you can make it italic. I mean, this is pretty much self-explanatory. You can change the font to whatever the font is that you use within your system. I would always recommend out of a branding point of view to have the same font everywhere. Like if you choose, for example, this Arial font, make sure that it is within your worksheets that you have for clients, your emails, your social media posts. Just really have one font for everything because you start building a brand around that font. It's quite important. And then on the right hand side here, um, on the bottom, I mean, you have custom values. So if you want to say, for example, hi, Susan, Okay, so if you're going to say hi, and then obviously somebody have already entered your social or your system with the with the lead magnet, ah, tongue tie, then you can just say, hey, first name. And then it's going to say, hey, Susan, um, welcome to blah, 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 blah. All right. So this is what you can do here. And then also what you can say is if they want more, for example, access to your membership, you can say membership contacts, password, login details, offered. I'm not going to go into that. That's like if there is membership details as well. And under templates, there's actually a membership email welcome as well. 
I'm not going to go into that one yet. This is just purposefully for setting up your email. But this is the concept there, right? So you can also, the custom values is quite crazy. There's lots that you can do there. Then to do a call to action, if you have a button in there, say you want to direct them to a blog post or a YouTube video or something amazing that you're afraid of in the membership that you want them to see, then all you do is you create the action button there. So you can just say uh, join here or something like that. And this is then where you put in the link. So you can go very, very deep with your email builder and you can create all kinds of things here. And then over here on the bottom, you can see there's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus. And then if you add, it gives you options that you can add whatever you want to add, um, Instagram, YouTube, custom mail, whatever. And then on the bottom here is where you can then do your year. These are already custom values, as you can see here. It's already got the, the basic stuff in there. So the location email will be what you've actually logged into Gaha Level with. And then the unsubscribe is another video. It's a bit, um, it, with unsubscribe, you basically, just a quick concept there is you create a separate funnel page. You say, thank you for, or, you know, sorry to see you go, blah, 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 unsubscribe page. And that normally is just like a link that is on your existing website, but people won't see it. So that's a video for another time, but then you get that sorted. And then you can obviously change your colors. You click on it. Um, and then when you click on, on your colors and things like that, you can see there, uh, when you say edit styles, this is where you can edit your styles. You can do padding. This is the padding, obviously, on that. Um, you can change it to, I don't know, let's say pink, et cetera. So this is on that one there, or you can delete that. It's just really about playing around and just, you know, having fun with it. And then at the end of the day, you want to save this template. And this is why I'm saying, make sure that you've got all your social media links in there. Make sure you've got your unsubscribe link in there. Make sure your location email and all of that stuff is sorted. Because then all you do next time, if this is the basis of your email and this is what you've got, all you really need to do next time is take this template, clone it, and just add your email information in there. It is so much easier to do it that way. Now we've saved the template. Also, what you will see is when you're in those three dots here, this is where you want to make sure that you put your settings in. And this is where it's going to be from name, from email. Preview text is that little blurb that when an email comes into your inbox, you have that little preview of what that email is about. That is quite powerful. If you use that right, you can say something like, hey, your free gift is inside or hey, this blueprint, whatever the blueprint name is, is in this email to download, et cetera, right? Um, and obviously the email subject line is very powerful because that is the first thing that hooked them in to actually want to open the email, especially if it's something that they've just signed up for. All right, so that is then that side of it. Then there's another side to this. So now you've created a template. What the heck do you do now? Well, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go into campaigns. You're going to go to the right-hand side. You're going to create a campaign. And now you're going to use one of these templates that you've designed. So oh, I didn't name that one. Never mind. That's not a good example. But um, that is like the template that you design. And then you just, it's good to name your templates though. And on the top is basically where you name it. You'll see it will come up now. So over here, uh, my face is in way. Over here, this is where you name your template. So we can just say test uh, one. Oops, test one, two, three. Okay, that's that one. And then on the right hand side, and obviously it's important to keep saving. And on the right hand side, this is where you can then send and schedule. Now, this is my tutorial account. There's no contacts in this in this one. But generally what you will do, if you click on search contacts, your contacts will all come in that you've got on the system. Now, you can also create a smart list, which is really just a really neat way to keep your contacts together. Like, for example, if somebody has signed up to buy, um, I don't know, four, five pins, then there's a smart list for them. So, and you can also div differentiate your contacts with tags. So, for example, um, like here's a it, like this is not, like I said my tutorial account. So somebody wants to download the story tips. Story tips is a tag, and then based on that tag, I will let emails go out to people based on that. And then you can just say from email and basically subject line, all of that, and you save that. And then after that, you then can schedule. You can batch schedule, or you can then obviously send out an email immediately. So that's really as simple as that and I mean the scheduling is pretty awesome because you can go specific dates specific times etc 
And this will pick up in the in the time zone that you sign up within Go High Level. So I'm based in New Zealand. So my time zone is Auckland, which is like my time zone. So if I send out an email Auckland time on a Sunday, um, it will reach them on the Saturday, for example, because we're a day ahead in New Zealand. So yeah, it's just little simple things like that. But I mean, it's literally quite self-explanatory. It explains all of that. Now, for this to actually all work, there is one step that you need to do before you get to this point, and that is to create yourself a SendGrid account. I'm not going to do a tutorial on this. This is quite self-explanatory. What you do is you just literally start, you push, you go to SendGrid.com, you push a button that says start for free, and it's going to ask you to register yourself an account. It is free for up to 100 emails a day, and thereafter, you can then obviously pay, and it works out per email. So this is SendGrid, and this needs to be put in place to actually have as an, as an SMTP provider. And what we do there, and this just prevents your emails to end up in spam. So what you do there is you go to settings, you go to integrations, uh, um, well, SMTP and Mailgun settings. And then over here, this is where you set up your SendGrid account. So you're going to go to uh, provide provider, SendGrid. And over here, this is going to be your API key. Literally, it's going to say a, uh, API key. And then the email is your email that you obviously use. So I would strongly recommend to have the same email for both signing into SendGrid and signing into Go High Devil. So the two systems can talk to each other and there's not going to be discrepancies as to who belongs where. And then SendGrid is going to say, hey, you are a little bit strange. I don't know who you are. I'm going to send you to spam. So you want to avoid that as well. And then obviously um, the password is then your actual API key. Okay, that's the API key that you're going to get from SendGrid, all right? And that's, again, they explain it very well for you on SendGrid. I'm not gonna go SendGrid as a video for another time. And that is how you set up your emails. And then obviously the next step after this is to go into workflows and set up your campaigns. And workflows, I've got emails on workflows, you can go check that out. But this is a simple way to just set up your emails and get them sent out to your people. And if you have any questions, comment below. Or if you want any more videos based on this or any other videos, please comment below and I would be happy to record those. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.